Hello and welcome to this 101 lab. In this lab, we'll learn how to perform a Mac flooding attack. Mac flooding is a type of attack in which legitimate Mac table contents are being replaced with the attacker's desired ones by sending unicast flooding to network switches. The tool we will be using is called MacOff, and we only need Kali Linux in a virtual machine for this lab. Now, Mac stands for Media Access Control and is the address of a networked device on a hardware level. Each network interface card, or NIC, has its MAC address set by the manufacturer. This can, of course, be changed, but for now we'll treat it like it's a fingerprint of a NIC. Now, a switch has a MAC table that maps MAC addresses of devices connected to the switch's ports. So when a packet is traveling through a network, it knows exactly where to go and where it came from within a LAN. This is what differentiates switches from hubs, as hubs do not know this information. Now, if we as ethical hackers perform this attack successfully, we'll be able to trick a switch into thinking the MAC address of our attacking machine is located on all ports, and then we'll be able to intercept traffic and analyze it for potentially crucial information, such as usernames and passwords. So let's get to it. First, we want to identify the target interface with the command ifconfig. If config. And now that we've done that, this is the interface, ETH0, we want to start Wireshark. Then in Wireshark, select the interface you want to analyze. And in my case, as stated, this is the one, ETH0. Next, we type macoff-i ETH0. So here, macoff-i ETH0. And you can immediately see how many packets get sent. We go here and you can just see the packets going. Without running the tool, you'd have to wait for some time in order to see just one packet, unless you're actively browsing the internet or communicating with machines on your LAN in other ways. So I'm just going to show that as a very quick example. I'm going to stop this. So I'm going to restart Wireshark. I'm going to start it now, and I'm not going to use MacOff. I'm not going to use anything, and you will see just how slowly this list populates. So everything is the same, but there's literally nothing going on. Oh, here is something. So ARP packets being sent. Now, ARP is another protocol, but we will not be looking into it in this lab. So, as you've seen, the MacOff attack looks literally like a flood, which is why it's called a Mac flood attack. In this lab, we won't be going any further, but rest assured that we will utilize various techniques in order to sniff traffic in a network, which techniques depends on, as always, the target network landscape. This exercise becomes a lot more intuitive if you have a dedicated switch that you can log into and analyze traffic from within as well as see how easy it is to stop an attack like this. So if you have a switch like a Cisco switch that you can access through SSH or something like that, that would be excellent and it would give you an additional layer of exercise for this particular lab. And that brings us to the end of this lab.